Hey, Bill, let's try this Kodiak Connor, man. We're going no gloves. I got some uh, knock rates on here. Let's give it a shot, see if it affects the shooting or not. Let me try a few shots at the plate in at 15. And then I'll try the bottles. See what happens with these knock rates. Well, there's the Kodiak Hunter with knock rights, man. I got I got a yellow and black string coming. Let's check it out. First one I was a little bit off, but the other two look pretty good. Not bad. I pulled that one a little bit. Uh, 2022 Kodiak Hunter. Let me pause this, gather up my arrows, and try some uh, swinging shots with these knock rights. Hold on a second. It's really nice to uh, have the freedom of no glove. My 67 pound co uh, had a Super Kodiak, 67 pounds when I shot it. It literally, I always liked knock rice, but it, it would pull my finger apart right there. That's so much power, but 50 pound bow, 40 pound bow. Really liking them knock rice. Anyway, let me pause this and I'll uh, get my arrows loaded up again. Hold on. All right, fellas, I gathered my arrows up. Let's give it a shot here. I haven't tried moving yet this evening. I've shot the, at the pipe plate a little bit. <clears throat> let's see what happens so i haven't shot these arrows even at moving so this bow hauls ass you can see them arrows how far they're in they're in there uh, pretty close to that black wolf there dave they sunk in pretty far kodak hunter's a hell of a good bow 2022 all right let's see if i can i got three arrows let's see if i can hit it once i haven't shot yet 15 yards yet I think I blew right through it. I'll try it again real quick. See what happens. Yeah, I missed that one. Yeah, I blew right through the second time on that. Looked like I did the same thing on the steel as the moving. Looked like I put two of them right together by the orange and then threw one. And then on the moving, it looked like I put two of them right together. And then threw one. I'm going to have to go find it. I don't, I don't see it, fellas. She zipped right through there. Old ass out here somewhere. Yellow in the straw. I'll probably never find it. Anyway, I'm going to pause this out. But uh, let me pause it. And then I'll, I'll look for the arrow. See if I can find it real quick. Hold on. There it is, fellas. Man, I found it. <laughs> Get that out of there. Oh. There she is. That's good. Anyway, let me... Uh, <clears throat> I, I had a Super Kodiak that shot 67-pound Super Kodiak. That's with knock rights. I really like the Freedom of No Glove. I bought two sets of knock rights for 18 bucks. This bow is a 44 pound bow at 45, but it pulls 44 at 28. At 31, it pulls 50 pounds. It's not hurting my fingers at all. The knock rights are pretty narrow. I love not having a glove. With the Super Kodiak at 70 pounds, basically 67 pound Super Kodiak, I had knock rights. It literally ripped my fingers. It was split my fingers and started bleeding right there. From the power of a 70 pound bow, 67 pound Super Kodiak. But if you go to like a 50, 55, 40, 30, I'm not having any trouble. I don't feel any pain. She's good. You see the groups. I mean, it's still shooting pretty accurate. Shot accurate there. I pulled one a little bit right there. Anyway, 2022 Kodiak Hunter. See how fast that bow is going, man. That thing, uh, thing hauls. It's pretty close. I don't know what it's doing. These are lighter uh, spine arrows, 40-45. So she's rocking. It's probably about a 450 grain arrow. So in the 180 feet per second. Kodiak Hunter, 2022. Anyway, I'm out here, fellas. Making my video too long, but uh, knock right. It's got me a yellow 
D97 come in yellow and black to match those. Getting ready for turkey season. That's why I'm doing some of these shots and I want to speed up my arrows because I want to try to shoot some turkeys on flight. Anyway, we'll see you guys. Take care.